Hi there and welcome to the History Hunter. Just sitting here and admiring a very special small item. And uh, this is what this video that you're gonna see is all about. The very, very minute, small, special moment when history kicks you in your butt and uh, you just sit back and uh, let yourself be amazed. When I found that small item, I'm gonna put a link in the description. You can see the uh, video that when I found that one, just look in my description, you can see that. But when I found that item, which I treasure as one of my, well, the uh, item that I really like, uh, I was not expecting that at all. I was just wandering around at the former Luftwaffe location and never ever would I thought that the uh, artifact from a Hinkle HG177 Grafe came up from the ground but it really did and uh, that was a amazing small moment uh, in time for me there you can see it that's a uh, general Luftwaffe uh, handbook for the aircraft the uh, HE-177 Grafe and as you can see here it's actually a cover for a switch to the Schlepp antenna for the Henkel HE-177 you release the Schlepp antenna that's a trailing antenna you can hang underneath the aircraft and uh, this cover, as you can see, it was like that. The text is just turned around because this is turnable. And uh, you can see it underneath there, the German text. And you can definitely see that it says the same. So, just wanted to share that little moment you do. You can have a look at that video if you want to. But that's a very nice example of uh, what can happen when you're out there. And that video, this video that you're going to see now, he's got one of those moments. And I have to say, amazing stuff to be able to have some very special moments popping up. And uh, I'm so happy to be able to share those moments with you. Um, first, very quick, if you'd like to support me, go to patreon.com, go to History Hunter. A lot of you have already done that, and I'm very, very happy for that. So, great shout out and a big thank you for all the patrons already supporting me. And of course, a big shout out to all of you watching my videos. But let's go to the video and enjoy it. Welcome to the History Hunter and my small adventures with the World War II time frame. Look at that, sun is peeking up there. Hoping to have a look at this new spot. I'm not sure what happened here, but something happened. And uh, it's not too far away from a Luftwaffe position. So let's see what today will bring and I'll gladly share any findings with you. That's my chosen gear of today. Small digging uh, spade, uh, pinpointer and my trustworthy macro racer metal detector. It's a beautiful day, so let's start the hunt. That didn't take long. 17 inches, it says. So, I might not be able to do a live dig. Oh, crap. But something is down there. I have to drop the camera. There are roots, so let me come back to you. I'm not sure whether these hills here are built by purpose or what they are definitely looks like there is some sort of bomb storage area there's a round big thing what is that could be a huge shrapnel I don't like the round shape of that there we go what is that easy wow look at that that is a mortar tip could it be a rocket tip? I think it's a mortar tip. That's nice. Look at that. Almost complete. So something happened here, that's for sure. Seems like a small um, piece of a either a rocket bomb or um, could be a mortar. It's really cold here. Just looking at these branches, hoping dreaming to light a fire here <laughs> that reminds me i have a good friend um you should check out his channel uh, his channel name is uh, survival russia he's really out there doing a lot of survival stuff bushcraft and um, he must have a hundred ways to light a fire he's such a good guy so if you want to check him out check my description the link underneath in the description of my video survival russia 
say hello to him and uh, you'll probably enjoy his videos as just, just as much as I do. Yeah, it's that cold in the middle of the day, ice on the water. But luckily it's just a couple of minus, otherwise this will be totally frozen. Another signal here, quite deep. The Germans had this position for during the whole war and the Allied tried to bump the crap out of them. Look at that. That's another piece. Could be the small bomb uh, fragments or from, from mortars. And I'm not sure where the mortars fit in, but uh, I know for sure that the Allied bombed this spot many, many times. Very happy with this bait here. Very sturdy. I cut it down. I welded the uh, I welded the handlebar. Made it shorter. So, um, well, Nordwin, what do you think about my weld? Does it look okay? <laughs> see this opening in the forest here, like here. You see it's dug out. That's what I think is a bomb storage area because there are some massive sand dunes in this region and I do believe that the uh, sand dunes were complete and they dug it out and they stabled in the uh, carriages for the bombs and put uh, camouflage cannons on top and they could trolley them around to prevent the Allied from uh, finding their specific location of the, of the bomb uh, storage area. Starting to find a lot of these. It's not like a bird ring that you put on the foot of a bird. I think they had a purpose. Found four or five of them. So maybe someone can help me out. I'm thinking they could be in conjunction with some sort of um, ammo, wrapping, packaging. I'm not sure. See that there? There's an entrance. There's a trench and a position behind there. This is a dug up. They built that on purpose because there's a trench inside there they probably had either a mortar or machine gun position and um, right down here we have not just one we have two of these and they give off a very strong signal like 72 73 and there could probably be more of them in here so help me out find out what these are that seems like a smaller uh, armor-piercing uh, projectile. See the, top, the, the tip there? Almost like it's complete. Probably there was a fuse on the top. It's been blasted, so who knows what happened here. It's starting to get exciting now. It's a carbine. That's from the US troops. So let's hope that this continues and we find more. And this little sloper, 45, 50. I'll get that, but before I do that, I just want to say a huge thank you for all of you viewers watching my channel. Really appreciate all the support and a very, very special thank you to all my patrons. So happy that you decide to support me and if any other want to do that you can go to patreon.com level 2 history hunter check it out but i'm really happy for those who have decided to um, support me so far and uh, next month we'll give some very nice giveaways for those who are pledging to my work looks like a fox dug that hole but it was actually me <laughs> so what is down there Ah, it looks like a huge piece. Wow, it's very big. Look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, another mortar, and this time even bigger. Look at that. That is huge. It's exploded, so maybe there was a fierce battle in these small grounds here. Who knows? Some of the the trees here has fallen down, and they make such beautiful images. Look at that. Just laying there like a forest by itself on top of the forest floor. Beautiful. Very small piece here. Look at that. Almost like a pin for 
a hand grenade or something, I'm not sure. That looks very much like a pin of a hand grenade, if you ask me. That is so strange, it's just shrapnel after shrapnel. I'm thinking maybe we are in no man's land and uh, the fronts were maybe this side and this side and this is just where all the debris came down. I'm trying to figure this place out but it's pretty hard actually. Listen to the difference. Iron. 87. Iron. 87. I'm gonna go for that 87 and see what that is. Tent peg, that's a modern type, could be a modern army type, or a civilian, it's not a German type. Well, it's aluminium, so it's lightweight, easy to carry, cool. Alright, so we got one small cartridge, looks very much like a brass K98 MG. Probably not easy to find the date on the back, but it's definitely a small small rifle or machine gun munition not easy to see you can see this huge embankment on this side a bit lower on that side here uh, it's very high it's higher than me actually so it's close to two meters up on that bank so someone dug it i don't know why but i uh, definitely dug it look at that that is interesting that is brass i'm thinking a timed fuse device Let's see if we can clean that, have a little better look at it. That looks very exciting. Maybe there could be some writing on the top there. Definitely brass, so I'm guessing a timed uh, detonator. On the embankment of this trench here, Kind of inside the trench. I got something here. I can't actually really. Let me see. I can't find it. It's really cold. The sun is going down, and uh, I have to say, I'm freezing like an idiot. Uh, but I'm still trying to figure out what's going on here. Let's have a look. Seems like there are several items here. Let's dig with the small one. Out it comes, out it comes. Something up here, is that shrapnel? Oh, I have to sit down. I have to say it's quite tough to do this today. Where are you? Somewhere here, what is that? Oh, it's a cartridge, look at that. Is it iron or is it brass? Brass. It seems like there was another signal here. Very in there, okay. Let's do this. I need to say that there's a real pressure to bring along on these trips, these trips. It's a, very exciting. Oh, there's something. What is that? Let's take off the glove. Something sh- what the f- What is that? Can you see it? Let me see if I can show it to you. Can you see that thing? That looks very exciting. Let's take it out. Let's take it out. Holy shit, look at that. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, I won't scrape it. Look at that. That is a badge of some sort. Holy Madonna, what's going on? Let's check it out. Where is the pinpointer? Where's the pinpointer? Where's the freaking pinpointer? There it is. Wow, that is a badge of some sort. Look at that. And that's inside the trench here. That is absolutely amazing. I was actually coming down here. And uh, then I heard the signal. What? 
Let's clean that up a little bit and check it out. I always carry with me. Oh my god, look at that. Are you kidding me? Is that a Soviet thing? How the hell is that there? And look how clean it is. I don't believe this. That is absolutely amazing. We have to check this out a little bit. I don't understand why this is here. Is that silver? There's actually producer code on the back there, so that could be silver. Holy Madonna, that is insane. So one cartridge and one... Uh, where's the cartridge? There it is. So one cartridge and uh, one beautiful um, badge or whatever, pin. Ah, it's almost unbelievable. Is that really from the World War II that I'm going to eat a whole whale? <laughs> Amazing. Here's a huge foxhole, about a meter deep, about 10 square meter, covering that flank there. There's another trench behind it leading into this foxhole. So a lot of small features here actually. Not very often that I find new things, but look at that. A nice pocket knife. That's cool, see if I can clean that. I can uh, <laughs> give it to my son and he can have that. Wow. Holy, first I thought I found another badge, but it's, um, I'm not sure. Let's keep it and clean it. If it's interesting, I'll show it to you. Could be a badge, something missing there. Wow. This I know now, know what is. It's a roll of, uh, uh, where you roll the uh, barbed wire onto this one. So the German barbed wire was attached to this thing here looks like just a random piece of uh, of uh, iron but it's actually a piece that the Germans used to keep the roll of the barbed wire onto.